when you provision a virtual machine on Microsoft Azure, you select a region in which you want to place this virtual machine, and then you have an option to select either availability zone or availability set. So what is this availability set and availability zone? What is a region or a geography or fault domain that makes availability set? Also, what is a service level agreement that Azure provide for your virtual machines depending on these options you select? I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to another episode of weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar from team Ketun Academy, where we take you on your journey from complete beginner in cloud, that's right from stage one, Azure Fundamental, to stage two, Azure Administration, then Azure Solution Architect, DevOps, and all the way to Azure Specialist. So let's come back to this option of creating a virtual machine. So when I'm creating a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure, I'll be selecting a region and Microsoft will place my virtual machine in that region. Then I'll be selecting availability option, which means how much uptime I'll get with that virtual machine. So I can select an option saying no infrastructure redundancy required, which means if I select no infrastructure redundancy, which means if this machine fails, I have no other machine serving user request, but or I can select availability zone or availability set. So before I explain what this availability zone or availability set means, let's first look at architecture of Microsoft Azure. And this is architecture look like where on a high level you have a geography. Geography makes from multiple regions and regions make from one or more availability zones. And availability zone is nothing but collection of data centers. And within a data center, you have server rack. So let's assume you have this set of server rack and in that server rack, you have multiple servers. So each of the server rack will call a fault domain. And within these server rack, you have servers. These are update domain. So this is update domain one, update domain two, three, and four within this fault domain. This is my another fault domain here where I'm getting much server update domain one, update domain two, update domain three, and update domain four. So when I'm selecting a two machines in the same availability set, what Microsoft is doing is, so Microsoft will automatically place these two machines, which are part of same availability set into two different fault domains within a data center. So what it protects you against is that if one fault domain goes down, or one rack of servers goes down, your second virtual machine will be running from this second fault domain. So placing two virtual machines in a single availability set, which means across different fault domain will protect you against a fault domain or a problem in a server rack within the data center. So that means machines are within single data center. Now these multiple data centers will make an availability zone. And within a region, you can have up to three availability zone. So when you select a machine to be across availability zone, what you what Microsoft is doing is that Microsoft will place them in different availability zone, which means different data centers. Now, one thing to understand is that multiple availability zone makes a reason, as I said earlier, but not every Azure reason has multiple availability zone. So let's suppose you have a region that has single availability zone, then you will not get that option of availability zone. In this case, US East has multiple availability zones and that's why I'm getting an option of availability zones. So multiple availability zone making a region. Now multiple reasons make a geography, which means within India, for example, there are multiple regions, which is South India and West India and so on. Similarly, US has multiple regions and Europe has multiple regions. So from a service level agreement point of view for virtual machine, if I create a single virtual machine, then I only get 99.9% .9 uptime with a premium storage. Now, what is premium storage? Maybe we'll cover that in the future episode. Then if you create two machines, but in a different availability set, which means they are going within the same data center, but in different fault domains, then you get 99.95% .95 service level agreement. Or if you create two machines inside two different availability zones, which means they are across different data centers, 
inside a different availability zones then you get 99.99% service level agreement and then if you want to protect your machines for disaster recovery across regions then you can place them across regions and these across region is mainly for disaster recovery purpose so just to do a recap when you create a virtual machines you can create them with an availability option which is no redundancy or you can create in availability zone or availability set where when you place these into a availability set you're placing them in two different fault domains within a data center multiple data centers make availability zone multiple availability zone make a region and multiple regions makes a geography and these are the service level agreements you get depending on how many machines you create and how do you place them well that was a topic from azure administration certification az104 from module azure compute resources that takes up approximately 25 to 30% weightage in exam now if you want to learn about microsoft azure administration certification there are five topics that you need to learn right beginning from identity and access management including microsoft azure active directory then storage then compute and this is where you have the docker kubernetes and virtual machine and web apps then you have networking and then fifth and final part is about monitoring and backup and restore and all then you need to do is give one exam az104 and then you get your administration certificate to star badge with that now if you're interested in doing the certification i run a free training with microsoft certified trainer and as your expert eva where I'm running a free roughly around two hours a session and we always get excellent feedback on these sessions. So if you're interested and want to learn more about how you can become a Microsoft certified Azure administrator, then I would invite you for a free masterclass where we teach about why you should learn Azure cloud, what is the certification roadmap look like, including prerequisite and the five topics that you need to learn. And we'll give a brief about each of these topics, right from identity and governance, storage, compute, networking, backup and restore. And we'll also talk about exam basics, including hands-on lab that you must do in order to clear the certification. If you're coming from Oracle background, like DBAs, apps, DBAs, administrator, or on Oracle cloud, then why Oracle? administrators should learn as your cloud i'm going to talk about that as well so to register for this free training go to url k2academy.com forward slash az10402 with that this is atul from team k2 academy thanks for listening this topic on availability zone availability set region and geography if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your friends i'll see you next week with another episode on microsoft azure